is found in Jesus. You know what day it is. Focus Friday. What's good, my people? You know what day it is, Focus Friday. The topic is distractions. Man, today I get... Let's try again. What's good, my people? You know what day it is, Focus Friday. The topic is distractions. Man, oh, today I got. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Man, let's try again. What's good, my people? You know what day it is, Focus Friday. The topic is distractions. Man, today. <laughs> man, today. What's good, my people? You know what day it is, Focus Friday. Topic is distractions. Okay, we're good, we're good now, we're good now. Our generation is the most distracted generation ever. You ain't never lie. I'm gonna talk about some ways that I handle my distractions and how I avoid my distractions. Number one, I leave my phone on silent all the time. If y'all know me, if y'all hang around me, y'all would never hear a or a Never. I think it's annoying and I don't want to be eating it here all the time. I think it's rude for other people as well to hear the text sound and the calling sound all the time. Like people get text messages like every second, notification every second. Maybe it's just me, but I don't like being distracted like that all the time. So I leave my phone on silent. 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 Another thing that I do is that I leave my phone in the car. Uh, whenever I have like a meeting or something like that with somebody, um, I'm tempted to check my phone. I'm tempted to think like, yeah, I wonder who liked my post or my picture. I wonder who commented on my post Friday. These are things that are going through my head <laughs> as I am uh, meeting with somebody. So I leave my phone in the car to practice being present. A study showed that people check their phone today 150 times a day. This once every six minutes. Jesus Christ. They also say that Americans now have this new thing called phantom vibration sensation. What that means is that our brain has dopamine. It's a neurotransmitter that sends a signal to our nerves. So even though our phones are in our pocket, our brain can send a signal to our nerves to say we want that high again of getting that text. So you might check your phone and ain't nobody even texting you. Like you ain't got a notification, it's just your brain craving that, and it's like a habit. I leave my phone in the car on serious occasions too, like funerals. Like I ain't even trying to be that guy. I went to a funeral before, and somebody phone went off during the funeral, and they said out loud, I thought I turned this thing off at the funeral. I'm like, the one person that we can learn from is Jesus. He knew how to handle distractions. The one thing that he did was that he got up early in the morning. Why? Because he had encounters all throughout his day. And I get up early because ain't nobody texting me at 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm not getting an email at that time of the day. So I can get a quiet time in for God, some very effective quiet time in, um, getting my word, all of that in the morning time. And Jesus also knew how to determine if it was a distraction or if it was important. You might get that text all the time from, from somebody and they're texting you and they're texting you, but that text might not even deserve a response. It's not like you don't care about that person. It's just like what you want ain't more important than what I'm engaging in. If that person really understands you and your life, they wouldn't have hard feelings about you not texting back. The life that you have, it's the life that you chose. You know, sometimes I feel guilty when my mama called and I don't pick up. But then I read this story, check this out. Matthew chapter 12, verses 46 through 50. While Jesus was still talking to the crowd, his mother and brother stood outside wanting to speak to him. Someone telling him, your mother and brothers are standing outside wanting to speak to you. He replied to him, who is my mother and who are my brothers? Pointing to his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother, my sister, my mother. While Jesus was still talking, like he's engaging in something important, he's doing what he's called to do, 
And somebody walk in like, hey, 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 Jesus, hey, hey, man, hey. And hey, your mom wanna speak to you, and your brother now. And Jesus like, um, that can wait. What they want ain't more important than what I'm doing right now. And then he says, who is my mother and who are my brothers? Jesus did have a concussion. Who? Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? He didn't forget. He wasn't crazy. What he meant was is that my mom and my brother and them, what they want ain't more important than kingdom business. I wonder what Mary really wanted. Like she probably wanted something like, uh, I was just saying what you want for dinner tonight. That's all. And Jesus knew what they wanted anyway. Like he was God. And what they wanted was probably nothing. So here's the challenge of the week this week. Practice not being distracted. Leave your phone on silent. Leave your phone in the car. And ask the Holy Spirit to help you discern what's important and what's a distraction. Hey, I thank y'all for watching. Hey, click here on this photo. Subscribe to my channel. Hey, watch the video from last week. Hey, it was a great video. I watched it over and over and over and over and over. Um, great feedback from it. Man, thank y'all for watching. It's Fuckers Friday. We out.